All right, so I made a violin instrument and um, it has eight or maybe nine different articulations um, that are uh, key switched. And so the problem I had is that um, uh, showing the range, the key range on the keyboard um, is for the entire uh, key range of every zone. Um, so I may uh, switch to a particular articulation that only has keys in a very small range, but the keyboard would still show the entire range of notes for the instrument. So uh, I want to talk about the set key color command to um, colorize uh, the exact key range um, uh, for each zone. So let's check it out. So this is the instrument. Uh, it's called Not This Violin. Um, just a quick overview. Very simple, but uh, I've got a re uh, reverb, delay. That's uh, both of these are wet dry mounts, and uh, reverb. Uh, I'm sorry, delay time. Um, you can see right away uh, the key switches are colored red, and um, the active keys are colored blue. Uh, that's pretty standard, but um, well, let me show you. So um, what was happening was uh, this is an, um, an articulation that has um, the entire key range, um, but I would switch to an articulation that does not use the entire um, key range. And previously, um, the colors on the right here would not change. Um, and so I might be playing some keys down here and get no sound. And it was just a little confusing. So, um, um, so I changed it. So uh, when I hit the key switch now, it will reflect the keys that are in that group. Right, pretty, pretty intuitive. Um, but I didn't know how to do it. So here we go. So uh, in Sublime Text, um, this is the script that, uh, that I'm using. Uh, let's see, so this section here is really um, uh, where it happens. So this is um, in the initialization um, section. Um, first declare the variable counter um, and um, declare an array of key color. Um, uh, so the first thing that needs to happen really is to make every key um, its default, white and black. Um, actually, this says right here, um, uh, key color none. I think that I found actually that key color inactive um, actually works better. I'm going to change that. Um, so this is set up in a loop. There's a, um, a while and while loop here. Um, so while the variable counter, while counter is less than 127, every key, um, it's going to do these things. It's going to um, assign uh, the key color array of counter number, so key color zero is going to um, have no color. And then it's going to actually set that. So it's assigned the color, then it's going to actually set that color. Color zero, counter, um, is going to be key color zero, which is no color. And then it's going to add an increment of one to that counter. And until that um, variable counter is greater than 127, it's going to um, assign and set the, that color uh, to each key, right? So 
that basically goes through and sets uh, every single key to its default black or white color. Okay, um, the very next thing that it will do um, is then set the color um, for the key switches. And um, um, so, right, so this depends on the instrument in use. Um, for my instrument here, let's uh, open up the script editor and, um, okay, good, it's open already. Um, oh, actually, no, I don't need the script editor. I need a uh, group editor and mapping editor. So, you know, I needed to go through every articulation, every group, and um, look at both the group start option um, for which key is being used for the key switch, and then what is the actual range of um, zones in that group. Um, each one of these is slightly different. Okay, so um, back in um, Sublime Text, um, this is um, the range of notes that I'll need for my key switches, right? Um, starting on note 48, if you're not sure about that, um, that's just from um, C uh, negative 2, whatever. Um, uh, basically, every octave is 12. So 12 um, to maybe this will be easier. Um, let's look at, yeah, C negative 2 is it's key 0. 12, 24, 36, 48, etc. So all my key switches start on um, note 48. Um, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, the first key switch that I have starts on note 48 and goes all the way up to note 62. Okay, so um, anyway, uh, same kind of while, end while loop is used here. Um, just like I colored all of the keys um, inactive, I'm going to now color the range of key switch keys to red. Um, so counter equals 48, the very first key switch note. And um, as long as um, that variable counter is equal to or below 62, the highest um, key switch note, um, the key color um, array is of that variable is going to be set red, um, assigned red, right? And then the set key color command is used for um, the variable counter 48, key color 48, which is red. And then it's going to add an increment of one to counter, go to key 49 <clears throat> and do that loop and it basically colors this whole range red. Um, that's it for the on init section. Then on the on note callback, I'm using an if else condition, um, really just the if portion of that, um, to look for the key switch. And on note, when that note, when a when any note is hit, if that note equals 48, the first key switch, it will assign counter to be number 63. While counter is 63, um, sorry, while counter is less than or equal to 127, key color 63 is going to equal key color inactive. So the very first thing that's going to happen is that uh, when I hit the key switch, it's going to um, reset the color for the entire key range, and then it's going to recolor or reset those um, keys to the range of that group. So um, um, yeah, resets the color in this loop, then goes to a second loop where now the counter equals 67. That's just um, where this range of um, notes lives, 67 to 116. 
and it's going to go through and um, color all of that section blue. Um, this uh, command here is just something else that I did where it will um, pull up a small label to show um, which articulation I'm in. So right now I'm in the Arco short, right? Um, I click here, the range changes and it's reflected. Galeno, non-vibrato, and you see the range is changing here. So for each key switch, um, I've got um, a loop to um, reinitialize the color and then a loop to set the color um, for the key range. And I do that for every key switch and that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching and um, please subscribe and like this video. Uh, it will help me to do more like this. If you have any ideas for other videos you'd like me to do, please leave uh, that information in the comments section. Um, I will put a link to uh, my website where you can find this instrument. Um, I do have it for sale, but it's, uh, I think I'm charging $10 for this instrument. And um, feel free to check it out. And I've got some other stuff there too that you might like. Thanks a lot.